Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel of Creative Ideas. Today, I'm going to introduce a unique project, a DIY mini welding machine made from a soda can. With just some recycled materials that might seem like trash, we can create a compact and handy tool for DIY projects at home. The special feature of this welding machine is that it uses a soda can, making it both cost effective and environmentally friendly. Despite its small size, it's powerful enough to weld thin metal parts, perfect for repairs or creative work. Let's explore how to make it in this detailed video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to catch more cool ideas. After removing the top of the can, I will smooth out the cut edge to avoid sharp edges that could cause injury or damage other materials during use. I will drill a hole at the bottom of the can to serve as a passage for the welding tip. One special feature of this welding machine is that I'll be using this LED bulb as part of the design. This is a damaged LED bulb. It no longer functions and plugging in doesn't produce any light. Even though the bulb doesn't work anymore, I'll repurpose it for this project. It still has parts that can be put to good use. At this point, I'll start taking apart the LED bulb to extract components I need. Inside the bulb, there's a small circuit board like this. However, it's not needed for this project, so I'll discard it. The part one need is the lower section of the bulb. I'll repurpose it to serve as the base of the welding machine. The next step is to drill a hole so that I can pass the wire through the base. This bicycle valve will be turned into a makeshift holder for the welding tip, a simple yet clever solution. At this point, I'm going to unscrew the nut from the valve in order to mount it onto the soda can. The bicycle valve works great for this purpose because its threaded design makes it easy to secure the welding tip firmly in place. It also allows for simple adjustments or replacements if needed, making a practical and convenient choice for a DIY build like this.
I'll thread the wire through the bicycle valve, then guide it down into the soda can and all the way to the base of the LED bulb. To hold everything in place, I'll use hot glue to firmly attach the LED bulb to the can. Next, I'll move on to handling the electrical wiring, connecting everything so the welding tip can function properly. I'll first strip the end of the wire to expose a metal core. These are old batteries and I can repurpose the graphite rod inside to make a soldering tip. The graphite rod is a good conductor of electricity and has a high melting point, making it suitable for use as a soldering tip. I will disassemble this battery to extract the inside part. I need to sharpen one end to improve the welding contact point. Then, I'll insert it to the base of the valve and wrap it tightly around the base of the welding tip. Connect the other end of the electrical wire to the battery clamp. The clamp allows you to attach or remove the wire from the battery quickly, making it convenient for relocation or recharging.
prepare a motorcycle battery. Its voltage is 12 volts. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal and the blue wire to the negative terminal. These are two razor blades. Now I will test this homemade soldering device. The performance is excellent. It heats up quickly, creates clean wells, and operates smoothly without interruptions. A surprising success. testing it with aluminum foil and a razor blade. The results were beyond expectations. Fast and strong welding, a well-deserved success. Here, I'm using the mini welder machine to join two pre-tin wires. As the tip heats up, the solder on the wires begins to melt, allowing them to fuse together securely. The connection is firm and clean, proving that the device works well for small-scale soldering tasks.
So that's it. A simple yet effective mini welding machine made from a soda can, an old LED bulb, and a few recycled parts. It's compact, budget friendly, and works surprisingly well for small electrical tasks. If you found this project interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to see more creative ideas. Thanks for watching.